Alright, so I thought I'd talk a bit about how the law of attraction works in practical terms. This won't be a long video, this will just be my understanding of the, uh, the concept and the theory, the law, whatever. So the law of attraction states that what you think or intend to happen will happen because you'll attract it into your life and it will become part of your life. I think this is a very lovely idea, but the way I think it works is slightly different. So it's been said that we are what we think about. So the, the thoughts we have every single day become ingrained with our lives and personalities to the point where we act in a certain way and then attract certain things. I don't think it works in the sense that what you think will just magically come into your life. I think what actually, the way it really works is that, say if you have a goal, right? Say if you want to become a famous archer or you know a, a movie star or something, you could say that that's the law of attraction. So you, you set the goal of being, being a movie star and then you work towards it, you know, or it becomes attracted into your life. What really happens is you set the goal of becoming a movie star and then subconsciously you start, because you want the goal so much, you start thinking and behaving in different ways. Even if you don't realize it, you'll start to become more aware and open to opportunities. You'll start to listen out more subconsciously for opportunities. Like say if you're walking down the street and you overhear someone saying, oh, I need someone to, you know, act in this film I'm producing. Because you've set that goal and because you're focusing on it, you start noticing those opportunities and therefore, you know, you might jump into that conversation and say, oh, I can do that. I'm an actor or an actress. And then there you go, you know, a few weeks down the line, a few months down the line, you're actually working on a production. Now, you could argue that's the law of attraction or you could argue that that's because you set an intention. You then noticed opportunities and took action on those opportunities. I don't know if you've ever noticed, like, say if you buy a, a new car, right, and say if it's a certain colour, say if you buy, for example, a blue Audi, you'll notice that from that point on, you'll notice lots and lots more blue Audis around around you, you know, on the streets, on the on the roads. And it's not that there are more of them, it's just that because you've brought one that's now in your attention, you're now focusing on it, and you're more aware of what was already there before. So it's sort of the same thing with the law of attraction. It's not some magical secret law that governs the whole universe. What it really is, is just if you set a goal and constantly focus on it, you're naturally going to notice opportunities relating to that goal. You're then going to take action on those opportunities and those small actions will eventually lead to success or, you know, whatever your goal is. There is no big secret really, it's just you focus on what you intend to focus on. So let's use a practical example. Let's say if you want to become a millionaire, okay? So you could say that, that is your, that's your main focus, that's your goal, to become a millionaire. Now, what you'll do is not the law of attraction at all. What you'll actually do is start focusing and thinking about how you can, how you can become a millionaire, thinking about how you can make more money. And then because you're going down that path, that thought process of how can I get to this goal, your subconscious mind will start finding answers for you. You'll start thinking, okay, well, who else is rich? How did they do it? You'll start asking your successful friends. You'll start being curious about the stuff that was already there. You know, these opportunities and ideas, it was already out there. But because you're now focusing on it and it's your goal, you're now focusing on getting answers and finding out how to do it for yourself, right? Because any any goal you, that you want to achieve, the, the results are already there. You just need to find out, you know, how to get there. So especially with making money, you just need to f set it as your goal and then ask yourself, okay, well, how do I get there? Most people don't ever think about how to earn more money and that's why they don't, simply because if they're not looking for ways to do it, then they're never going to get there, are they? It's like if you, I think this was a quote from Earl Nightingale, right? If you're trying to get to a certain place on a map, let's say if you're trying to get to Florida, right? If you never intended to get to Florida, you wouldn't look up the map of how to get there. Whereas if you did set the goal of, I need to get to Florida, then you would look up the directions. And it's the same thing with making money. If you never tell yourself, I need to make more money, then you'll never think of looking up the ways of making more money or how to do it. So that's pretty much what the law of attraction is. It's a fancy name for setting a goal, thinking positively about that goal, and then taking action on moving towards it. There is no big secret, but you know, when you do it, when you actually do set a goal and move towards it, then great things are gonna happen.